All right, cadets, we are in our fourth and final lecture on printed circuit board design. We started off with the pattern editor and the pattern editor is what I call the printed circuit board library. And I've got an example of that over here. This is for a different project, computerized base station for a robot that created a, a magnetic beacon for it to navigate. Details aren't important, but what is important is that the space station had these type of, of outlines. Let's zoom in a little bit and get a better view of what they look like. So again, this is what the pattern editor, what I call the printed circuit board library is. It's a library of lots of different uh, devices that will go on a printed circuit board. The things in gold are the actual traces. The things in green just live on the silk screen layer. And they give you an idea about what the outline is so you don't try to put two components too close together. So in this world, the resistor, any eighth watt resistor looks the same. It doesn't matter what value it is. They all have the same uh, layout. So these are the, this is the pattern editor. Then the next step is you went into the component editor. That's what I call the schematic library. So the schematic library is to schematics what the printed circuit board library is to printed circuit boards. Here's an example. So now the resistors have this particular symbol and let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're talking about. They have this symbol. Every single one has pins attached to it. These are logical pins. And if you right click them, they'll tell you what the, what the name of that pin is. There's, there should, every pin has to be labeled with a unique name, pin one, pin two. You can see what it is too, just by pausing your, your mouse over it and it will tell you that this is pin two and this is pin one. And then what's in the middle in gray is just a picture. Um, there's two types of components. There are normal part types. You can see here, everything down here is a normal part type. It says normal up here and all corresponds to a physical device, whether it's a diode or a large LCD module, maybe an entire Arduino chip or a capacitor. Every one of these devices, because it's a physical device, has a corresponding down here outlined, printed circuit board outline, whether it's a dip or something you designed yourself. This test point is just a hole that lets you insert a piece of wire so that later on you can go back with a digital multimeter and easily test voltages at that point. Here's the common jack. This would be a screw jack, and this is what it looks like, the pinout but it not only has these normal parts, but it also has these things called net ports. These are just logical devices. This is, these will just have a single pin in each. And you'll always need a pair of these things when you actually create your schematic. So you'll define just one, for instance, uh, ground is just defined once, but then you'll use lots of grounds in your schematic and they'll all be tied together. So here's an example of a receive pin and Although there's only one defined here in the schematic library, you better have at least two in your actual schematic. And then these are automatically considered part of the same net. So every time you've got a RX symbol, they're all wired together. And this is nice because when you create your schematic, it lets you drag a microcontroller over, have the RX uh, pin attached to say pin two on your microcontroller. And then on a totally different part of the schematic library, have an RX pin, uh, attached to your communications board. And although you don't need to draw a wire connecting the two, logically they're connected. It's the same thing for ground or, uh, or a power connection. This is a plus five power and this is a minus five power. And you'll notice there's no pattern at attached to these. And these are called net ports as opposed to the normal. And for normal, it's saying you better attach a pattern. Whereas for a net port, there can't be a pattern. 